Hello and welcome back to Lord Fenton Gaming Plays Neverwinter Nights 2 Complete Edition. I'm your host, Lord Fenton. In this Neverwinter Nights 2 build video, we're doing Song of the Harper's Bard and Harper Agent build. As always, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more Neverwinter Night 2 builds like this. Do not forget to hit notification bell so we update and much more. Here are the pros and cons of this uh, build. Now, uh, here's the pros. Obviously, your songs are going to be really powerful. Especially the epic one later on. In fact, you know, it's on a two minute timer. It can wipe out many foes. You have very high lore skill, which is great because your charisma, your diplomacy will also be skyrocket as a well. Your bard, bard spells, they're uh, powerful as it is. And that's about it for the pros. Now the cons for the Harper Agent, it's basically, uh, basically on saving throws. Some are uh, good for the most part. Others are like, I wish there's more to it. And yeah, you get Dominate Animals, which is all right at the start or so, but there should be better spells out there. And yeah, you're forced to light armor, no shields. So uh, let's uh, go ahead and on with the races first. Normally I go into the whole thing about races, advantages, disadvantages, whatnot, if you want to pick or so. However, you want to lock into a human. Reason being is you get four extra skill points, which is nice, but even better is one extra feat. You're going to need that extra feat right away because, uh, yeah, there's a little bit of restrictions for a feat for this uh, build. Now, as for classes, you got two. You got the bard class. You cannot uh, be any lawful, obviously. You could be any other, uh, I'd say, alignment, which is uh, good. And second, and there's no restriction, is the harper agent. You can't be any non-evil. However, you're going to need eight ranks of diplomacy, four ranks in lore, two ranks of survival, alertness, and iron will feat. We'll cover those feats right away as we level up. And spell casting. Since we're a bard already, yeah, that's done. And we'll get the skills as we do go along. And yes, we're going to go ahead and uh, knock out the Harper Scout ASAP once uh, we uh, have the uh, requirements for it. And yeah, the skill points are almost the same as a bard, which is nice as uh, well. So let's uh, go ahead and select the bard class. Now for alignment, you have to be only neutral good, chaotic good, neutral, and chaotic neutral. If you do not want to be smited, pick neutral or chaotic neutral. I'm going to pick neutral good because I felt like this is good for the setup. As for DET, this is just role playing flavor and such. I picked Tamara, yeah, because she's the lady luck. Bards are very lucky from time to time. That's a good reason uh, why. So let's go and select this. Now for abilities, I'm going to have it similar to my Song of the Dragon build, which I felt like it's a good setup. And let's uh, go ahead and uh, put the points on. I'll explain each as we do go along. So uh, first of all, I put Strength 14 for a little bit melee in case we do have to get up close and personal, which we will from time to time, big time, when we do our songs. Dexterity Constitution is at 12. Dexterity for a little extra AC. Constitution for a little bit extra hit points. Now, I put Intelligence 14. I want a lot of skills to get out of it. A whole bunch of skill points, which is good. Wisdom at 10, so we get no negatives at all. And we get a little bit of uh, will saves. And Charisma 16. That's going to be our main stat. So when we level up, we're going to put all points into Charisma. Since uh, Bard Songs and other Bard-like abilities are based off of Charisma. So let's uh, lock these in. As for background, you know, any negatives, pick no background, but there's one background I would really uh, suggest is talent. Sure, you get the minus one will save. However, uh, we'll make that up in so many ways. And yeah, the plus one perform, that's very important for this uh, build. So let's uh, keep on going. For uh, skills, I'm going to go through each of them. Concentration, we're going to max that out. So this way we can focus when we cast our bar bard spells. Diplomacy, we're going to max that out. We're going to be the talking type. Lore, we're going to be able to ID items a lot more better than everybody else in the party. Which is a good thing. Perform, we're going to max that out because there's some powerful bard songs that requires high performance. Or I say perform. And just trust me, you really want that. Spellcraft, we're going to max that as well. So uh, this way, every 10 points we get, if I remember correctly... One spell save. Survival will keep at two. They'll lock in requirements for the Harper agent. Tumble, we're going to get that maxed out. So by the time we're done, we get three free AC. Every 10 points, you get the armor class. And use magical uh, device. We'll be able to use some items that nobody else can use. Last but not least, I decided to do a praise that's good. Another uh, 
Good one too is bluffs. This way you have more talking skills, but appraise. This way we have discounts in shops. Now, uh, next up are the feats. So, obviously, I'm going to go ahead and select the one that's only level one. I felt like that's the best course of action. Luck of the heroes. Now, you get plus one saving throws of reflex, forward two, and will. So, we'll get that will save back. And plus one free AC. So, that's a good thing. Now, the other one I'm going to go ahead and uh, pick is iron will. But I'm going to go through uh, some of the others first. Now, uh, armor ca casting. So we get the cast in, you guessed it, light armor. We don't get penalized, but we get penalized if we do medium, heavy, or a shield. But this is good for a bard. There's your other uh, songs as well. Inspire Courage, boost your attack. Counter song for against counter magic. And I think Fascinate's like a crowd control type of song. And there's your uh, inspiration there. Which will, uh, of course, uh, inspire your characters to attack and more. Which is a good thing. Yeah, see the uh, Inspire Courage plus damage attacks. Uh, again, uh, yeah, very important to uh, sometimes use those in battle with your uh, characters. You're not only support, by the way, you're also a debuffer. And yes, you get to do some nice DPS. There's a few powerful songs out there. Don't say, oh, this is only a support class. No. The Bard, there's much more than that. So uh, I'm just showing you all that. Yeah, see, there's a fascinate one. That's like a crowd control-like spell, which is nice until, of course, you break crowd control in there. It's a charisma modifier you need. That's why we have high charisma. So our songs and inspirations will connect more than often than not. So let's. Uh, I'm going to just let everybody look at that a few more seconds before I uh, definitely go on to Iron Will. Yeah, we're going to be picking that out of alertness. I'm going to get those two knocked out right away as we uh, do level up. Let's see if there's anything else. Uh, nothing else is there. Just double checking. Now, where's Iron Will at? And there you are. Let's see here. Uh, you're given plus two bonus to all will save throws. Plus two. Keep that in mind. That is really good. So we're going to go ahead and uh, do that. Lock that in big time. And uh, there. So let's uh, go ahead and get our, I say, level zero spells. Now, I say take uh, Cure Minor Wounds. Uh, I say... Uh, your flare days don't worry you have the other choice when you level up again at three or so light you want and resistance now if you're not a human then yet yeah, switch out with flare now my final advice is like this you're gonna start out slight, slightly slow but once you start to get some more bard songs inspirations or whatnot you'll be powerful after harper agent you can really start moving it when you get to epic levels and when you get that nice uh, song yeah from the epic feats your DPS will really soar. In fact, you might be the only person that will do seriously high damage. And, uh, and by the way, yeah, that song is really broken. I'll explain about that in a uh, bit. So let's uh, go ahead and talk about what I'm going to suggest for Bard songs. You should get from level 1 to 6. Well, actually, Bard uh, spell levels. Let's do that now. Here's some suggestions for Bard level 1 spells. And I'm going to go ahead and list the ones I felt like that's good for this build. Summon Creature 1. Summons a wolf to fight for you. A very good summoning spell. Lesser Dispel Magic. Dispels weaker buffs and effects. So this is very good against basic uh, buffs. For instance, I should probably say Endure Elementals. You want to get rid of that on a caster and that's it. Joyful Noise. You're immune to most silent spells and effects. This is very good early on. So cast this on yourself and you're good to go. Sleep, put uh, to sleep up to 1d4 hit dice foes. Now, this will not work with 5 hit dice and above. This is a nice beginner crowd control spell. Cure Light Wounds, this will heal you 1d8 of damage plus 1 spell level on the living, if you're living. Now, if you're undead, this does the opposite. Does 1d8 plus 1 spell level damage on the dead. So, let's get to level 2. For some level 2 spells, I'm going to go ahead and talk about the first one, Mirror Image. Creates 1d4 slash 3 levels for images. Max is 8. Now, this is a very powerful spell because uh, one foe hits you, one image goes instead of you taking damage. Ghostly Visage, 5 slash magical damage reduction, which is good against spellcasters. Also, here's a bonus, immune to level 0 and 1 spells. So if a level uh, 2 wizard wants to cast Magic Missile on you, and you have this, you're basically immune to that. 
Heroism targets gets plus two to hit and plus two to saving throws. This is really great early on. Curse of Impending Blades. Now, target takes minus two AC. Now, this is a curse. They cannot remove it by normal means except for remove the curse spell. And last but not least is Cure Moderate Wounds. This will heal you 2d8 damage plus one spell level. Of course, if you're the living. Now, if you're undead, you get the opposite. And you, they take 2d8 plus one spell level damage. So that's about it for level two. Let's go to level three. First spell I want to talk about, I always uh, suggest for anything in uh, level three spells. Haste. Target gets the following, plus one dodge bonus AC, plus one attack rolls, one extra attack per round. This only applies to melee and range, not spell casting, and 50% movement speed. Really good buff spell. Dispel magic, dispel magical effects and buffs. Well, not the most powerful ones, but still, this is a middle tier one you want. Displacement. Target gets 50% concealment, which is really nice. In other words, it's like invisibility on yourself. Minus being invisible. Now, uh, Deep Slumber put target to sleep up to 10 hit dice. This is a more powerful version of sleep. See invisibility can see most invisible foes in a line of sight. It cannot see the ethereal type of ones later on down the line, but still, this is good enough to use and abuse. We are at the level 4 spells, and we're actually halfway there for the Bard. Now, Warcry, Bard receives plus 2 hit and plus 2 damage. On the flip side, foes fear you if they don't, of course, pass a will save, which is good. This is a uh, powerful multi-purpose spell you want to abuse like crazy. Shout, cone AoE damage. In other words, it's like a frontal damage type of spell. And the uh, damage on that is 5d6 sonic damage, and foes can be deaf. In other words, they'll lose uh, a whole bunch on their listening checks, which is really good. Greater invisibility, target still visible even after doing actions like attacking and, of course, spell casting. This is really nice to use and abuse on yourself. Downside is true seeing or anything else that's powerful to see uh, that kind of visibility will uh, hamper this, of course. Now, freedom movement targets moon to the following paralysis, slow, and entanglement like spells and effects. So, if you're in trouble, cast on yourself, you're good to go. Cure critical wounds heals 4d8 plus one spell level to the living. Now, if it's undead, you're going to use it against that, it's 4d8 plus one spell level damage. So let's get to level five. Let's go over the level five spells I'm going to suggest. Greater Dispel Magic can dispel powerful magic buffs and effects. This is really useful against powerful spellcasters. You'll be able to get about two to four of those buffs. So this way the battle will be much more easier. Cacophonic Burst can deal 1d6 sonic damage per spell level in the area. Max is 15d6. This is a really powerful AoE spell, especially if you're more of a higher level layer on, which is good. Ethereal Visage, this is 20 slash and anti damage, so you basically uh, get some damage reduction there. Oh, here's a bonus. You're immune to level 2 spells and lower. This is really nice. So if there's like a Yard Trash spellcaster that can only cast level 2 spells and lower, well, guess what? They're going to have a bad day against you. Song of Discord, cast this on foes that have 50% chance of attacking each other. We'll say it probably will apply, but still, this is a nice song to abuse. Mind Fog, AoE uh, effect, foe step in the AoE, of course they will suffer minus 10 will saves. This is really great, especially if you're teaming up with a certain spellcaster, like for example a Necromancer Wizard. Cast this, and then uh, of course uh, the uh, foes will do something like Well the Banshee or something like that that does involve will saves. They die instantly, thanks to the fact they lose 10 will saves upon going that fog. Also, uh, I forgot to mention, really useful for yourself too. If you're using many of these uh, bard spells that does involve will saves. Now we're in the final level spells. Six, or I should say circle if you're uh, into the Ultima series. Ice Storm, this does 3d6 blunt damage and 2d6 ice damage in an AoE area. Very powerful ice magic. Seriously, you want to abuse this quite a bit. Energy immunity grants one immunity from an energy damage type, which is fire, cold, electric, sonic, or acid. Really great spell to use. If you know a foe that casts one of those energy damage types, put it on yourself and laugh at them. Greater Shout, cone AoE uh, damage that can do uh, the following. 10d6 sonic damage, and targets can be deafened, and of course, better yet, 
they'll be stunned uh, for one round. Well, the stun parts one round. Deafen will just keep on going. Again, Deafen is, uh, they'll uh, lose their uh, listening checks big time. Dirge, a we spell that uh, folks can suffer the following. Minus two strength and minus two decks each round in the area. Now, uh, this is a great spell you put in front of you. Just back away. They come towards you. They realize they're losing, plus, uh, they're losing strength and dexterity. They have to get out. So once they get out of the area, their strength and dexterity is back. And they have to do something else. By then, you're just uh, owning them in the uh, battlefield. That's about it for Bard Spell Suggestions. So let's go ahead and level up our Bard slash Harper Agent. Let's uh, do go level up our uh, Bard. Now, uh, please note, you're going to start out as a Bard. You're going to learn a few things, which is uh, good. As always, make sure you, of course, you have light armor and uh, one weapon in your hand. No shield. Otherwise, you get arcane spellcasting failure. Now, let's go ahead and pick our skills. Appraise, concentration, diplomacy. That's very important. Diplomacy, lore, really important. Where we got the requirements for that. We're still going to boost it up, perform. Spellcraft, important. Tumble and use magical device, seriously important. So I'm just going to go ahead and just use from my suggestion on the spells I do want. You could go in any order where I just list it in the previous section, but up to you all on uh, that. I always like to spell magic because, yeah, I could dispel some buffs and I always like to summon a creature early on. Yeah, later on, most of the time you get party members. They're really good. They'll fill in some holes for you. Like, for example, if you need someone to be a tank, go ahead and do so. If you need someone to be an arcane catcher, they're slinging spells in the back. Why are you debuffing? That's fine. Now we're at level 3. We're going to pick the bard still. We're going to keep on picking the bard until we get the requirements all done. Uh, appraise, concentration, diplomacy, lore, perform definitely. We're going to try to get that up much as possible. In fact, we're going to max it out. Spellcraft, tumble, and use magical device. And uh, if any uh, points you want to use for cross class, I say open lock. It's another good option there. Now, uh, uh, first things first, uh, let's see here. We get another extra bard music, which is good. Unless, where's, I'm trying to look for it. Uh, there we go. Alertness, uh, you get plus two bonus on spot and listen checks. This is just really for the Harper agent. Now, uh, if I'm like using someone like a rogue or, so, or something like that, for example, that's fine. Yeah, see, there's bards music there. And uh, Haven Song, uh, this uh, does is uh, enemies who fall for it will uh, be able to attack you. This is like a spell like Sanctuary. Except for uh, if you decide to attack them, and then, of course, uh, yeah, that goes bye-bye. It's a good crowd control spell, I'll say. The Bard has some good crowd control spells, so this way they can pick and choose who they want to kill. Now let's uh, go ahead and do some level 1 spells again. Uh, once again, just use my suggestion on uh, spells to do. You ask fan, why do you do Identify? Well, we're living in spell slots, and we have high lore, so uh, that that will cover it. Lore would definitely uh, do that. And if you really want high uh, lore as well, grab a whole bunch of Identifiable items. Drink, uh, of course, lower potion, and you're great to go to identify. Let's level up our bard once again. Every four levels, we get its ability scores. Put all points into charisma. We're going to max that sucker out to 24. Yeah, even is always a good number to do. Let's uh, do the usual suspects on the skills, especially diplomacy, lore, and perform. Oh, yeah, also spellcraft, use magical device, and yes, tumble. We're almost to 10 on tumble and spellcraft, which is good. Now we're at level 2 spells we get. I'm looking for Mirror Image and Ghostly Facade. I like to start out with those, especially Mirror Image. Pop that sucker on yourself, and then, of course, there's three images at least. will protect you uh, more as you level on. And um, more Bardic Music, which is good. And, yeah, see the number slowly going up there. So let's uh, keep on uh, going. Yeah, see there's the Bardic Music uh, there. And uh, we get Counter Song, too, just like the Counter Spell. Which is nice. Okay. Um, Fascinate, that's another crowd control spell to use. In other words, they, they won't attack you. And Inspire Confidence is just like a buff spell for you and your uh, party members. Which is always uh, good. Inspire Courage, of course, is another buff spell to do some damage against foes with your party. Let's level up. Uh, let's see here. Praise. We're going to get everything uh, that's important to eight. Diplomacy is the last one to get for the Harper Agent. So let's uh, boost that up. Well, actually, it's 10, but still, we're going to get that much as we uh, can before we do a class switch. Let's hit next. Okay, let's uh, go ahead and select the uh, spell from my level 2 spell suggestion list. I'm trying to look for it. Yeah, heroism. Well, uh, it's like a little buff spell for your you or someone else here party. Like, for example, we could uh, buff up uh, that nice uh, dwarf you uh, get in the original campaign. 
he'll kick some serious booty and thank him for that later on. Let's get another level one spell. I like Amplify because that's like a uh, very nice spell for listen checks. We'll uh, definitely uh, put down, say, for example, Nishka. So she could listen in on stealthy foes. That's another good alternative, but I like sleep as well. I felt sleep is better, though, than Amplify. But still, it depends on your preference. Uh, sleep I like because of crowd control. Put someone to sleep and that's it. Uh, inspire defense. This will inspire, of course, uh, your uh, character's AC will go up, which is a uh, good uh, uh, inspiration. Of course, you have to have one inspiration at a time. Yeah, bards get a lot of uh, support things, but still. You look beyond the support, they can debuff and they can do some serious damage. Yeah, you'll see, in, uh, like I said before, with the bard spells in a certain song later on. Let's keep on going. We'll just put that diplomacy to nine. Yeah, we're going to max that sucker up there. So let's uh, keep on going in that. Let's uh, just do it. One more, and that should uh, do that. And, oh, we get ourselves another feat. Now, uh, Curse Song, uh, this does is uh, our foes will get minus one to attack and damage rolls. More in perform. More negatives our foes will definitely get. And later on, they'll actually take actual damage. Long as that curse song is still going, it's very powerful. And uh, Cloud Mine, this will really uh, troll our uh, enemies uh, with will saves. They'll get negative against those. And there's some more uh, bardic music, so it's a good thing. And yep, there we uh, go on that. See, uh, this is like a potent uh, single target version of Fascinate. Uh, in other words, crowd control once again. Uh, that's about it. So let's uh, have time to give everybody a few seconds to look at that. We'll uh, go on to the Harper Agent since we're uh, now able to do so. Now at level 6, this is a great time to class uh, change. We're going to get all five levels of Harper Agent right away. We're going to get it early on so this way we could uh, go to uh, the uh, Bard levels and nail those, uh, I should say, uh, Bard uh, classes uh, too. But let's for now we'll do is a praise. Uh, no, no, we'll leave a praise alone. We're going to max out concentration, so we're going to boost that up. Now, as a Harper Agent, we cannot do Perform. That's the downside. Another upside I forgot to mention about the Harper Agent is uh, every even the levels of the Harper Agent, you could still, you uh, guessed it, pick your spells for the Bard class, which is uh, good. Okay, just pick the skills I did, and let's uh, go ahead and do this one. See, now we're going to be able to level up our uh, Bard spell uh, casting. You know, be a little bit behind on the Bard spell levels, but that's all right. We'll make up with our uh, Max Out Perform when we get back to the Bard. And uh, there we go. So uh, let's go ahead and do the Harper Agent level 2. Uh, charisma. Yeah, put your points into Charisma. You're going to max that to 24. Let's see here. Concentration. And we're going to try to do after I get Diplomacy, Lore, and uh, the others too. Yeah, we'll get that Concentration. There we go. Let's see where you're at. Okay, where I got Lore. And see if I could start doing the other ones. Okay, tumble and uh, use magic device. If I can, if not, I can max those out next time. As always, yep, use magic device will do. Yeah, we'll just uh, leave that at 9 for now. Spellcraft, we'll uh, max that out once we're out of the bard class. I should say the Harper uh, agent class. Sorry about that. Now we get to select our level 3, you guessed it, bard spells. As a Harper agent. I like to do is to spell magic and haste. Those are uh, good spells to uh, start at level 3. Dispel magic, obvious reasons to get rid of the buffs, and haste to make us uh, more of a beast in combat. Or we just haste someone else, like for example that nice dwarf. Now I like uh, the uh, curse uh, blades, I call it, minus 2 AC on foes. Unless they have remove curse, they're much more easy to be hit by our party members, or us. Or say, uh, it's more like this character. Uh, use the suspects and skills, try to get concentration, spellcraft, and use magical device if you can. Ignore open locks and yeah, performance in the red. We'll get that back when it's uh, barred again, which is always a good thing. Tomorrow's smile, uh, you get plus two saving throws, uh, of course, which is uh, good. It's a nice uh, boost, everyone. It's a really nice uh, thing for that. And saving throws it does include will saves, reflex saves, and of course, four two saves. It's a supernatural thing. That's the downside. Now, a Sten spell, this will Sten our buffs and also certain damage spells as well. It'll go on for more rounds. Some of the uh, bar magic that's offensive does require rounds, so that's a good thing too. So we're uh, level 3 spells, so since we're a Harper agent, we get advantage, take advantage of that. 
Let's do a displacement. So 50% of the time, our folks will miss more often than not. And let's see here. Let's level up one more uh, time. Harper Agent. Let's see here. Concentration. Diplomacy. Lord. We can't do perform yet. We'll uh, get that uh, going once again as a bard. Uh, spellcraft if we uh, can. Tumble definitely. And use magical device. Oh yeah. We're at 10 tumble. So we get one free AC. And Neverwinter Nights. Uh, one tumble was as you get up. Uh, every five points you get a free AC. And that's very powerful if you're in the 40s. In Neverwinter Nights 2, they nerfed it to 10, so we get 3 free AC during this as well. Uh, I forgot to mention uh, this one. Uh, this one uh, does is uh, you could also uh, dominate animals, which is nice for uh, that. And then the heart one, that's a plus 2 bonus against mind-affecting spells. Well, saving throws, which is always a good thing. So let's uh, keep on leveling up our Harper Agent. This is going to be the last time to do it, by the way, everyone. So let's select that. So concentration, diplomacy, lore, spellcraft if you can. Let's see here. What else on my list? Tumble and uh, use magical devices. Yeah, we got that there. We'll catch the rest of those main skills up. Now we'll be able to select level four spells. And uh, this is a good thing. Let's see here. Uh, War cry, obviously. So this way we get the bonus buffs and our folks will fear us and shout for some damage. I decided to pick Deep Slumber. That's a nice uh, crowd control spell. We'll put him to sleep. Then we'll just move around, set him up to get killed. And there's Maestra's Boon. Uh, let's see what this uh, does real quick. Uh, let's see here. Uh, you see a plus two bonus on all uh, spell saving throws. Another spell saving throw thing. And that is a very good thing. So let's level up our uh, bard. And yeah, we're back to the bard for the rest of the time on this build. So this is a simple build. If you worry about the uh, complications going back and forth. So we're going to pick Charisma. Let's go ahead and put that to 19. Every level is 4. We get ourselves an ability point to boost up. So let's uh, do Concentration. And if we can't summon these. If uh, we want to. I'm going to go ahead and look for Perform. We're going to try and max it out to 15. And there we go. We max it out. Any others we don't get now. We'll uh, max the rest out later. We'll just forego the 2 points in the open locks. We don't need that anymore anyways. For a while. And uh, there we go. Hit the next button. And oh, well, we are still a feat. Now, Lingering Song. This will make your Bard songs last a lot longer. For five additional rounds. Really nice. Especially if you're crowd controlling. Or you're definitely uh, using uh, certain spells. That will buff your uh, characters up. I say certain songs. There's more Bardic uh, music. And there we go. Inspire uh, Regeneration. So we generate our hit points. Like one additional hit points for... For every five levels after for a few rounds which is good though it's always nice to get that so if you're in dire need of uh, getting hit points without resting or it's too dangerous to rest yeah pop that sucker now uh four i probably would suggest is uh this one here greater invisibility cast on yourself and then of course attack have some fun you have that nice 50 percent concealment uh watch out for true seeing foes though and that's about it for this level Let's get to our uh, bard levels. So our bard levels eight, but still we're beyond that for our character levels, which is uh, good. So let's uh, keep on uh, going, and uh, there you go. So let's uh, put our skills there. Just uh, remember, uh, once we're at sixteen on the rest, we'll start putting more points in our price to get that all caught up. In other words, we'll get things more safe in the shop. I decided to inspire toughness. Uh, that does give you your you and your allies uh, plus one saving throws. Eventually, that becomes plus two, plus three. Really useful. Yeah, it, you're having a tough situation. For example, against will uh, uh, spell casting foes. Yeah, they'll give you a little bit of chance of more surviving. And as I always say before, the bards are not only uh, core support. They also could debuff, crowd control, and do some serious damage. I'll explain about this uh, really serious, serious damage. Or I call it extreme damage later on. Still, don't ever underestimate a uh, bard in Neverwinter Nights 2. That might be your downfall. In fact, uh, if you find any uh, bard party members, yeah, use this setup definitely if you can. If not, go pure bard on them. You'll see the uh, wonderful results of uh, that, even at level 20. So let's uh, go ahead and level up our bard to a uh, character, I uh, say bard level 9. That'll be uh, level 14. 
Now uh, we're going to put every skill that's important to 17. Appraise, we'll uh, get that up there to call caught up. Don't panic, you'll catch those up. Just open locks will be a little bit uh, below the uh, cross-class skill line, which is fine. I mean, come on. Let's see here. Okay, um, let's uh, go ahead and grab let's, the following. Greater is the spell magic. OP, uh, the spell magic, really nice to abuse and use. And uh, let's see here. Song of uh, Discord, this will make your foes attack you 50% more. Which is good. And uh, I decided to get greater invisibility for four. So this way I cast it myself and have some good times with that. And let's see what this one we uh, do get. Where's that at? Where are you at? Iron uh, Skin Chant. This gives you and your party damage reduction of five for four rounds. Probably a lot more with the uh, Lingering Song. Still a nice uh, protection spell to use. So they get uh, five damage knocked off right away. Sand's in trouble. Pop that sucker on him, and you and Sand gets that minus five in damage reduction. Or so. Okay, let's level up, and uh, let's uh, go ahead and uh, do that. We'll put your points in praise, and there you go. More bardic music. That's uh, always good. Now, you're wondering, why are you doing your weapon focus at this point? Well, I want to focus on the spell casting aspects first. And then we'll get our own weapons up there. So uh, weapon focus does is uh, this. Gives you plus one attack bonus with the uh, weapon of your focus. So in this case, we're using long swords. They're the best weapons for the bard. It's one hand, no shield, but that's all right. We're fine with that. Ethereal Visage I like because the uh, damage reduction it does. And of course, immunity level two spells and lower. Now uh, we're at the level 16, Charisma at 20. This is all good and gravy, everyone. So let's go ahead and do all this. And uh, voila, there you go. Let's keep on going. And yep, we'll uh, max everything out. Make sure you do perform. That's very important. Perform's your absolute number one skill. And it uh, looks like we get our inspiration. Let's see, or uh, inspire, actually. Still thinking about Bar's Gate 2. Where's that at? Uh, yeah, there's so much there. Okay. This does this and slows your foe's movement speed down quite a bit. It's like the slow spell, but much more fun. Bard version, yeah. They have to, of course, do a certain resistance. Will save. And if you drop down Mind Fog, then you drop down this sucker. Chances are they're going to be moving slow in that fog. And then it's go time for your wizards to use their favorite will, uh, uh, will save inspire spells, which will make it go for their way. Also, like I said before, go your way too if you use any of those damage spells that does require will saves. Like those shouts. Just saying. So let's uh, keep on leveling up our bard. We're closing in on the level 20, which is the uh, normal level cap. Oh, don't worry. We'll cover the epics. Now, at this time, every skill should be at 20. That's very important. You should have now total 2 AC thanks to Tumble being there. Our dexterity is at 12, so we get a nice little modifier now automatically boosted up. And our price we're almost up there. So we're now at the level 6 spells. We'll get some powerful bard spells from here on out. Even some AoE ones. Uh, Ice Storm, that is no dud there. And Great Shout, you do a lot more damage with Great Shout. I side do uh, the uh, Cat oh, Phononic uh, one too. That's nice. And um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, start getting the uh, Cure Light Runes I side do at this stage. Again, that's late. Uh, because if it's the original campaign, there's a lot of undead towards the end, and you use some of those spells as damage. So uh, let's level up as the Bard. Yes, in Neverwinter Nights 2, yeah, healing spells can be used as a nuke as well against the undead. Good times. We'll uh, get everything up to 21. That's important in the blue. And we got ourselves another feat. Improved Critical Longsword. So let me explain about that. So for example, if your Longsword... Critical rate before this feat is, uh, it'll be at 19 to eight, uh, 20, I should say, to roll a dice on critical hits. With this feat, is 17 to 20. Now, uh, this stacks with Keen, that drops to 15 to 20, which is good. So our longsword now is 17 to 20, unless we Keen it up and it's 15 to 20. Now, Weapon Masters, they get a lot more, uh, 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 more likely to do critical hits because of Superior, I think it was uh, Critical, something like that. Yeah, it's, uh, I have one of those builds that does that. And we get ourselves another uh, bard thing, which is all right. Let's level up our bard class some more. Your blue skill should be at 22. And if you have enough uh, points at this point, then do open locks. 
Make sure it performs uh, at the max every time you level up. That's uh, priority number one. And uh, there we go. Let's select another spell size. Uh, we did select energy immunity. It's a uh, broken OP. Forgot to mention that. It's a nice buff spell. Okay, let's see here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, decide to uh, do that one. That's another good spell to do. Let's uh, go look at it. Let's see here where I did see it. Inspire uh, Jarring, I think that is a, uh, all enemies uh, within a bard, take a minus four penalty on concentration and will saves. Drop that sucker there and then uh, let the good times roll and then use the mind fog spell. <laughs> and uh, yeah, you just watch your foes uh, will saves drop so bad, especially casters missing their concentration and your wizard buddy like Santa could go in there and just annihilate them. We're at level 20, last time of normal levels, put your points in the charisma. Make sure uh, all your blue skills at 23, and uh, if you can do open locks, that's fine. If not, store. You can store up to five points in Neverwinter Nights too. Big uh, debuff from one, which you store a whole bunch of points, like all of them. Now uh, I decide to do is a uh, dirge, uh, this um, or free of movement. Those two are good. Free of movement, you remove paralysis, slow entanglement. I did forget to mention I did get Cure Moderate Runes. I'm using that as a mini nuke against, of course, the undead. Now, let's see. Where is this? I thought I saw it somewhere. Oh, Song of Freedom, just like the Freedom uh, uh, Movement spell, which is uh, good. You can't use that anymore? Well, use that inspiration uh, to do it, or Song of Freedom. And there's our Song of Heroism, which is always nice. Gives us a uh, plus damage and uh, much more. Oh yeah, I'm just looking at the other stuff as well. Now we're on to the epic level. So we have 10 levels of the epic. So from 16 to 25 for the bar class. We'll get really up there. So let's uh, go ahead and do it. Let's do a praise. Concentration. Diplomacy. Perform. We're going to try to get perform ASAP to max. Because there's a song there. And a buff to that song. It's an epic uh, feat. But it's really powerful and broken. How I know every bards rave about it. Now I decide to uh, course a heroism. Uh, this does is it rallies your uh, creatures that you buff for four dodge bonus AC and uh, morale bonus, which is against saving throws against like fear and such, too, which is good. It's a buff spell. Now uh, let's go to level uh, six. I decide to uh, go ahead and uh, do is where are you at? Okay, I could do cast grades, but nah, where I'm trying to look for a certain one. And, uh, oh yeah, I couldn't do those. Oh yeah, I did Mind Fog. You could use that to, uh, of course, get that minus 10 on the will saves, which is always good. I thought it was level 6, I got another one, but no, you don't. So, we're going to do the usual suspects. Everything should be at 25. Perform should definitely be at 25. You can't get the 25 perform feet until you're after you're done leveling. Then the next level, you get that chance to choose it. See, bardic music. And also, you gotta be level 21 too on the bard level. We'll get that. So, we'll keep on going. No feats on the last level. Just uh, keep at it. I almost forgot. Oh, yeah, I forgot about the uh, bard level too. You need as a bard to get that nice song. So, let's keep on uh, going, shall we? Uh, let's uh, add it. Yep, yeah, let's select that. Okay, let's hit next. And uh, unfortunately, if I try to go down there, you'll uh, see. Well, I cannot, yeah, I cannot get that yet. And uh, we get Legionnaire's March. All allies are affected. Get a plus four competence bonus to uh, damage rolls. And uh, that lasts for 10 rounds. Uh, which is uh, good. And the cooldown's five minutes. But still, it just boosts up your characters to do some damage. I couldn't get the uh, one feat. I did get Epic Proudness. This gives you plus one uh, to all your uh, normal melee attacks, which is good. Let's pick the Bard class. And uh, let's see here, Bard. Let's do Charisma, so we're at 24. This is good. Well, character level 24. Let's uh, pick all the skills there. We're closing in at 30, so that'll be our third armor class, point, uh, I should say, AC total. That's plus one AC, though, with uh, Tumble. Use Magical Device, and there's our Perform. Good, and we'll uh, put two points in the open lock. Uh, more bardic music, always nice to have. Let's uh, go ahead and select more. Usual suspects at this point, I believe we're almost uh, we're out there now. Yeah, you uh, guessed it. 
there as in we're about to get a uh, certain feat coming up, I believe. I might be wrong or I might be right. Uh, let's see here. Okay, no, not yet, but still, what we're going to do is uh, great charisma. Now, this will have plus one charisma. We're going to even things out. It'll look uneven now, but when we get to 28, our final ability score to get, we'll get that to 24. So let's select the bard, uh, put our points there. Now at this point, we're at 29 on all the skills, including perform and tumble. And yeah, after uh, this level, we get to 30. Yeah, our uh, armor class will have a, a total of plus three thanks to tumble. And then again, it might be more if you have a lot more uh, dexterity you boost up with items like that. Okay, no feats, that's all right. Now we're at bard uh, level 22. So we'll be able to get that uh, feat. I've been always, I've been uh, setting everybody up. It's not, it's a little bit late, but still, it's uh, one of those that you want at this point in the game. Uh, because, yeah, especially you play the uh, expansion, the uh, Mask of Betrayer. And this is it, Song of Requiem. Now, uh, this song uh, does for five rounds, 20 feet. Uh, it does uh, sonic damage that equals two times your performed skill. That's your minimum damage per target. And then, of course, uh, minimum slash three. For example, uh, if you have 30 perform, that's 60 total damage points uh, that you uh, do around enemies, which is powerful. Now, this has uh, about a two-minute cooldown, but the upside of that is the uh, most broken song in the entire game. More in perform, more damage you do. Uh, I say definitely get that perform up there in items. See, there we go. We got ourselves the uh, chorus of heroism, and we got ourselves the broken one. So we're at level 28. Put your points to charisma. We'll have 24 unbuffed charisma. So let's go ahead and do that. And uh, and of course uh, now be uh, 31 times two. You uh, guessed it. And we're gonna get the uh, if I remember right, it's coming up. The uh, buff to that uh, song of requiem. And yep, there we go. And let's see. Yep, we're gonna go ahead and get it. And uh, there we go. Uh, Heim of requiem. In addition to all this good stuff I said. Uh, it does is uh, it heals on based on the on your perform by a certain uh, division. So for example, you do 60 damage, divide that by three, and your party members all get healed for 15 points per round. So not only your uh, song does a lot of damage, it's also a healing song too. I'm sorry, I'm really sorry about that, but still, it's a total party favor, especially for Mask of the Betray if you go through uh, the entire campaign with this bard. And especially with high will saves, you'll dominate the battlefield on uh, against our spells like a uh, well the banshee and such. Unless you have immune to death magic, then you're lucky. I say do this one late. This way, just get some more hit points. Pick toughness because uh, it's a uh, one hit point per level you get. It's retroactive. You get a lot more hit points. Simple as that. Uh, there we go. And let's level up our uh, character to 30. So that'll be our bar class to 25. Last time I put the skill points in, our performance should be 33, unbuffed. And then there's a lot more uh, modifiers later on, the boost boots at higher. And that's about it from level 1 to 30 with this build. Let's talk about Gear of Vice uh, definitely next. In uh, Neverwinter Nights 2, if you want to get, for example, 10 Charisma, you have to actually look for a 10 Charisma item. You cannot do 8 uh, on one, then 2 on another. It will overtake only on 8. Just warning everybody about that. So for the bar, definitely look for charisma items and perform to boost that up there because of that one song. Um, then definitely do strength, dexterity, and constitution. If you need some uh, saves to boost up, like for example, your 42 or reflex saves, that's fine. You could do will saves as well as uh, too. Uh, another thing I'm going to go ahead and suggest everyone at this uh, point as uh, well too is uh, boost up some of your tumble. So you get that armor crash really up there. And if you find any immunities, go ahead and do it. Always uh, keen your weapons if you need to. Add acid damage to it. And if you want to have haste and true seeing, as uh, well too. And that's about it for equipment and, of course, more advice. Let's go ahead and do the combat test. Let's uh, go ahead and do a combat test. Always buff up before combat. And let's uh, test this out against a rain party of orcs. So I'm going to go ahead and pop that song right now since it's real powerful. Yeah, Song of Requiem, or I should say Heim. And uh, there we go. Oh, look at that. We just wiped out a whole bunch of orcs right away. This is real great against Yard Trash, so uh, we also get to do some critical damage. And yeah, Ice Storm works like a charm. Yeah, see, we just walk to the foes and that's it. And let's go ahead and bash their brains in. 
And now there we go. Let's keep on attacking. That's it. Yeah, so this is great against foes who are not immune to critical hits. What about something like the Undead or Evil Outsiders? Well, this works as uh, well. So let's uh, go ahead and, of course, uh, set that up. Well, I'm going to try to get this song going at least. So let's see. Raiding Party against the Undead. And yeah, let's uh, go ahead and do it. And let's see here. Okay, look like that's starting to wear off. That's all right. We have our other spells to help out, like, for example, Ice Storm. That's uh, one. And yeah. They're doing attacks of opportunity, my concentration kicking in nicely. My other buffs are uh, helping out greatly. I'm shredding up uh, liches. If I wanted to, I could remove, their, of course, their effects by uh, using the quick slot spells. Instead, I'm going to go ahead and use the shout one. Let's go ahead and do that. And, uh, okay, we did some damage there near death. Yeah, so even if uh, that song's on cooldown, you have your other uh, bard stuff, like, for example, your bard music. You have your war cry. To boost up your uh, hit and your shouts yeah especially your greater shouts does a lot more damage I should have probably use more of that but that's all right well actually I uh, did still uh, I would definitely say is uh, if you don't have that song a requiem the, uh, the ultimate song then yeah your other bard songs are very, very powerful as well you also you got your allies too you buff them up with your uh, inspired music and then you'll uh, definitely own it we're almost uh, done. Yeah, let me go ahead and just whistle and then whistle this guy goodbye. And that should definitely uh, finish the uh, battle. Undead or uh, living, critical hits or uh, not, you're a beast in combat. Here's my final advice. You'll start slow and, I uh, say, building up your character. Just use your inspires and your songs to help you out, especially your bard magic as uh, well. Make sure you're using uh, at least the light armor. And definitely uh, your longsword, yeah, enchant your longsword big time. And when you're starting to get those nice feet, especially that one song, you're really powerful. Only use that one song, I'd probably say uh, at this uh, point against certain powerful bosses or loads of enemies. If you want to, you can pop that song, wait two minutes, go fight again, pop it again or so until you run out of charges. Then you can rest up. And with this class, you're going to rest less, do more damage, and get through the story a lot quicker. This is it from my Neverwinter Nights 2 Song of the Harpers Bart and Harper Agent Build video. This is Lord Fenton signing off. Thanks for watching and have a great day or night. Do please stay safe. Please subscribe to my channel for more guides, builds, and other videos from Neverwinter Nights 2. If you like what you see, then pick my suggestion on the upper left hand corner or YouTube suggestion on the bottom left hand corner. Have a great day or night and do enjoy the view.